Hi all, Jeanette here. Thanks for joining us at the Neal's Homestead. About a month ago, uh, we took some soil samples from our farm here from greenhouse number four and greenhouse number three and then an outside patch that's in the back part of our property. We took them to the University of Missouri Extension office in Warrensburg and they sent them off to Columbia to have them analyzed. We got the results back. Uh, they sent them to us through email and uh, I'm going to show you what the results say and, and we'll show you what we've done to make it uh, better for our land this year and we're going to show you how we intend to deal with the use of the sawdust on our property for weed control over last year and again what we plan for this year. So thanks for joining us. This shows the information for the greenhouse number four where we grew a lot of tomatoes last year. Uh, it says that our pH is quite high, uh, 7.1, um, so we need to do something about lowering that and perhaps we're going to put sulfur on it. Uh, the phosphorus is very high, the potassium is high, calcium is medium, magnesium is high. We don't really put much on here about nitrogen. And all of these uh, minor elements, they don't even measure them. So I think we would like to do a different one next year where we have a more exhaustive uh, analysis on our soil. I think it will cost more money, but uh, we'll know a little bit more about uh, what it is. You have two saved messages. Saved message. Hey Jeanette, this is uh, Travis Harper uh, at the Henry County Extension Office. I uh, got your message and I'll be mostly out most of this week, but I just wanted to address your question. So uh, sawdust as a um, sort of mulch, it, it's certainly fine. Uh, help keep weeds down, moisture in, that sort of thing. The, the fertilizer content of sawdust is not all that great, but as a mulch, it's fine. So the biggest concern is that uh, microorganisms are gonna try to break down that sawdust and it's a high carbon content material. So they're going to look for nitrogen to help break that down. And they're gonna pull that from your soil or from any nitrogen fertilizer you put down. So for that reason, I generally wouldn't recommend it. Or if you are going to use it, then I would recommend that you put your nitrogen fertilizer down first before um, before you uh, put the sawdust on. Um, if you've got any more questions, you're welcome to give me a call. Like I said, I'll be mostly out this week, um, but uh, I'd be glad to visit with you again sometime. Bye. So according to our soil test, we don't need any uh, potassium or phosphorus in this building. They did recommend that we put down some nitrogen fertilizer. So we have some urea and we calculated up for this size house according to the acreage and everything that we need about 15 pounds of urea in this house. This bag contains 40 pounds of urea fertilizer and that comes to 46% nitrogen available in this stuff. Um, so you have to calculate your numbers by that. This uh, particular variety is a coated variety of um, urea so that it is a slower release and doesn't uh, zip away real quick. I'm not going to go to all the trouble of actually weighing it. I'm just going to kind of guesstimate. This is 50, 40, so a certain portion of it. I decided to just sow it by hand, kind of like you would wheat or something.
So the conclusion we've come to is that the sawdust was okay to use. It's uh, it good at smothering out the weeds, so good for weed control. It does tie up the nitrogen in your soil as it breaks down. It doesn't take the nitrogen away, but it ties it up for a while and will release it after the breakdown has occurred. It will slowly release it back into your soil, so it's not like it goes away and is lost. So we uh, will continue to use the sawdust. We'll try to have our soils tested every year. Next year we'll try to find a more exhaustive source for a soil sample test and we'll just keep going at it like we've been going at it. So thank you for joining us and I hope you follow us. We go through this season that's coming up on our produce growing and our market gardening and everything in the greenhouse and everything else we do. We love to have you. See you next time.